Glossy Probe Reprojection for Interactive Global Illumination We propose a new method for computing accurate global illumination at interactive rates. This is done by pre-computing glossy light paths and storing them in light probes. At runtime, the pre-computed information is accurately reprojected into the final image. We split light contributions into diffuse and glossy paths. While the diffuse component is handled using a traditional light map, our main contribution is the accurate treatment of complex glossy light paths. In our pre-computation stage, we place probes in the scene and use them to capture 360-degree specular information. Storing this using traditional spherical parameterizations leads to highly suboptimal memory usage. As a remedy, we devise a custom parameterization, which allocates resolution adaptively, taking into account geometry and material properties. Using pre-computed probe information to render a novel view requires an accurate estimation of how reflections move when the viewpoint changes. This is a challenging task, in particular for curved reflectors. Consider the setting. The probe observes the blue point, which is the reflection of the green point. When rendering a novel view, we need to find a new location on the reflector, such that its reflection remains the green point. We solve this problem in two steps. First, we employ the theory of specular path perturbation to obtain a second-order approximation of the specular displacement. This provides a rough estimate of the reflection flow, but it does not yield sufficient quality. Therefore, as a second step, we refine the solution by exploring the reflection neighborhood in probe space. Our two-level CERT strategy is guided by the assumption of perfect mirror reflections. This creates sharpening artifacts at reflected occlusion boundaries of glossy surfaces due to parallax effects. We solve this problem by splitting up the convolution effect of glossy BRDFs into two steps. First, during pre-computation, we lower the roughness of glossy surfaces. This yields sharper reflections. Second, we compensate for the increased sharpness by applying an image space filter. Its anisotropic footprint is carefully designed to reproduce the desired full roughness of the glossy materials. Please notice that after this final step, the sharpening artifacts disappeared.